One of the great things about a stick line photography seminar are all the great photo ops they set up for you, like this Sunday morning team roping with real working cowboys and cowgirls showing off their stuff. The weekend seminars are offered about a dozen times a year. They include a pair of advanced intensive professional video courses using the RED digital cinema camera. But today, the focus is on still photography, and there's a lot to learn. Getting ready for the good stuff. Beginning with how to protect your camera on a rainy Saturday morning. All it takes is a garbage bag and some tape. And then when you're done, you can... Outside, cowgirl models Kendall Tibbetts and Corey Shiner, both world champion ranch ropers, are settling up in the rain. Whether the steck lines consider perfect conditions for photography. Most of my best shots are on the most miserable days. It just tells a better story. Sunny skies are boring. Drew fires up the smoke machine to add to the ambiance. Smoke, dust. Um, yeah, there's a little bit more emotion. I mean, right now, you get an awesome tight shot of the back of the horse there. It looks like it's steaming after a long ride. In getting this story, guys, you need to make sure that you're getting the tight, the medium, and the wide shot. So don't just shoot the same thing every, every single time. Is it F-16? Is it darker? Sharon Redland is at her very first Steckline seminar. It's amazing. I've learned more today than I've learned in 20 years of taking pictures. I know how to set it now. I'm so excited. The Wyoming rancher wants to shoot better pictures for the sale catalog her family produces to advertise their cattle. What I've been doing is just shooting on automatic for the last 20 years because I didn't know how to set the settings on my camera. And in two days, they've got me knowing how to set the settings on my camera and knowing what situations to change the settings at. And uh, it's, they've been really good at explaining things and showing me instead of just making me read it so that uh, I understand it better. New Win prop. Winchester. Yep. But sometimes the students do the teaching in some surprising ways. Especially because the students don't know all the rules of photography. So sometimes they're just shooting because that's what they want to see. And you see some, some really unique imagery that you never would see before because it's kind of out of the out of the box because they're just picking up the camera for the first time. You cheat! It's easy to take a lot of shots at this workshop. There's just so many great opportunities. That's kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry. Oh, that was cool. Like this new twist on an Old West card game at the Pack Saddle Saloon featuring a pair of gunfighters you might not have seen back in 1880. Mean. I can't be mean. There you go. I'm not mean. <laughs> the saloon is inside a barn on the Steckline Ranch, a ranch that's really a photography studio with anything you need to create and shoot any kind of Western scene. Really, we have all the, all the props and everything from all the big jobs that my dad has done. Um, cause we've shot Chevy, Pontiac, Marlboro, Copenhagen. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And all the props and all the scenarios are all right here. So it's literally like one of the best studios in the West. I mean, all the opportunity for shooting stuff outside is, is right here in our backyard. The smoke, the Colts and the whiskey may look a little edgy, but it's all just good fun. Time out, I gotta get <laughs> <laughs> and it makes for some great pictures. We're off on a location shoot here. Yes, we are.